uh, and I would request our today's chief guest, uh, Professor Dr. Tariq Rafi Saab. Uh, he is a provincial chairman for HEC, a very renowned ENT surgeon, very known to the medical fraternity. Uh, sir, please come on the podium and give your uh, speech, sir. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahamdu wa nusalli ala rasulil kareem. I am thankful to the organizers for asking me to be here for this inauguration session of Ramzan and Health. Diabetes. I am thankful to Professor Yaqub, Professor Basit, the Vice Chancellor of Ziyadh University, Professor Abdul Khan, the foreign dignitaries, all the uh, participants of this conference and all those who are going to present the paper, the specialists, and the consultants who are here. I still recall that when I was the Vice Chancellor of Genasi Medical University, we organized two conferences on Ramzan and diabetes in collaboration with uh, Yaqub Saab, the uh, Bakai Hospital, the Bakai University. So I'm very much aware of the efforts that have been put in by the organizers with the concept of Leaving the, uh, removing the misperceptions about Ramadan and diabetes. Many of our doctors also, who are not medical specialists, but are in other fields like I'm in ENT or somebody who's in orthopedics or somebody who's in neurology, may not be having so clear ideas of how to manage their diabetic patients during Ramadan. If they have to undergo surgery or they have to be treated with medicines, do they need to continue with their fasting or they need to uh, give a break to it? So these conferences, and I remember the conference which I organized twice at our university, we gave a very clear and elaborative guidelines for all of us who are, who are medical specialists, but not clearly related or not directly related to diabetes of how to deal with these patients. This is a continuous education or CME, which has been conducted by Bakai University and by Dr. Basit and Dr. Yaqub, which has been there for our ninth international conference. And I think we organize it every second year, I suppose, after a gap of two years. Every year. So you are organizing it every year. Allah Ta'ala aapko aur isme himmat de. And uh, the main objective is to support our patients through the knowledge that we are going to gain today or during this conference and with that we are going to apply for making the fasting more safer for our patients. Knowledge is not something which is static. Knowledge is something which is changing every day. Maybe what we had been talking about in the last conference may have some changes in this conference. Because as every day passes by, research and knowledge is Research is changing our knowledge and our understanding of different diseases, not only of diabetes, but of the different diseases that we have. I still recall, I was when I was a house officer, sir, there was a very famous surgeon, Surgeon Hamid, who is, was known as one of the best surgeons that the country has. And I was working as a house officer with him. And at that time, when he was doing a cholecystectomy, he used to give a Cochrane incision from here to here. And he always used to tell us, and I was, um, I came to work as a house officer with him because I had, I had a feeling that I should work with two people for my house job. One, Hamid Saab in surgery and Professor Rab in medicine. So Hamid Saab used to say, big surgeons give big incisions. Remember that. Now the knowledge has completely changed. Not only through small holes that we are operating. You see, knowledge and everything is changing. So what we talk about today is what we can apply today. Definitely our being a country where we have got 220 or 230 million population, more than 90% of them are Alhamdulillah Muslims. And I'm my, my own feeling is that more than 70 to 80% of them are those who fast, except those who may be very ill or very young or those who may be very old. Majority of us is fasting. But such a large number of people who are fasting in the month of Ramadan. And Pakistan is one of those countries. I was reading the newspaper just yesterday in Jung, 
that Pakistan has got the third largest population of diabetics in the world. So, so such a large number of patients who are diabetic with such a uh, fervor for fasting, enthusiasm for fasting, we are all very much religious as compared to, I am not say as compared to other parts of the world, but we as a nation is a very religious nation. So most of us are fasting. So this now becomes a duty for on our part of our doctors to see how can we make it easier for them, make it safer for them, and should, or should we have a knowledge ourselves that how it can be dealt with. I am really grateful to Bakai University for organizing this conference every year and uh, playing a very important role in educating us doctors of how to manage the patient. This is one of the corporate social responsibility also, which comes along with the other achievements that they have made as a university. I was there about a week or 10 days back on inspection from HEC to Bakai University. I'm very much impressed upon all the progress that it has made, despite all the uh, problems that they have. But the good thing about it is that people who are there are committed. They want to make it uh, one of the best universities and medical universities in the country. And, and, and you, once you have got a vision of what to do, then it makes things easier. The only thing that remains is a commitment to your own ideas and your own vision, what you want to do. And then I'm thankful to all of you. I'm thankful to the organizers who invited me to be here. And I wish and I pray and I'm sure that this conference is going to be a great success in imparting knowledge to our doctors of how to manage their patients with diabetes during this coming month of Ramzan. And the good thing is that you're also organizing this for the Hajj people, people who are going on Hajj. I think that was not done before. I think, yeah, Yaakov, sir. You were done before for Hajj also. So that is again a big achievement because during Hajj, there's so much of, uh, it's most of physical exertion that a number of patients who might be having diabetes can have, go into hypoglycemia or maybe hyperglycemia. So how to manage that is again something that has to be done by us. And we are positive that this is going to give a great impact on that. Thank you once again, all of you. And I'm grateful to all of you. Pakistan, Zindabad.